Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another Star Wars action figure review. This time I am having a look at this Star Wars The Black Series New Republic Security Droid, and that is from The Mandalorian. Most notably in that heist episode where Mando just swoops in and just swiftly takes out like a bunch of these guys while the other people just kind of watch in awe. Very cool scene, very cool episode. But there is the front of your box where you can clearly see the droid and the one accessory it has. Not much going on on the side except my very damaged box. Again, very damaged box on the back there. Little read up if you'd like to read it, you can pause it and do so now. The other side does have an image of the droid. Window on the top, BS on the bottom, and the front again. So I'll take a second now get this guy out of the box so we can have a closer look at it. So there's our droid out of the packaging. Pretty simple little droid, but actually pulled off very nicely. I actually really like it. And he does only come with one accessory, which really, watching the episode, I, I don't know what else he could have came with, but it is his blaster. Pretty nicely done. They did add the silver tips on there, so that's good. I don't like when they just cast them all in the plastic and leave it like that. Actually, in the episode, Mando took this blaster from one of them and smacked it and then shot it. But yeah, that is your one and only accessory. And now we'll compare him to a few other droids from The Mandalorian. And on the left, we have the SH Figuarts IG-11. Yeah, we know, it's tall. And on the right, we have the Q90, I think. I forget the name of that one. I think it's Q90. And that is a Black Series figure as well. All them guys looking pretty good together. And for one last comparison, we have the Best Car Armor SH Figuarts Mando. I would say scale-wise, that's pretty accurate. Now on to the actual droid action figure itself. Really like the subtle paint details in there, like in the visor. Then you have that gun metal on the chest. And in that midsection, you have that gun metal paint. Again, at the top of the legs. The rest of it's just kind of a gray plastic. It could be a little more metallic, but it's actually not that bad. And Hasbro isn't big on adding paint deco on the back of their figures, but this one actually has quite a bit on it. Down here at the top of the ass, there's some more, some blue. Even on the back of the head, there's some paint deco. So very nice. Overall look of the figure, it's just it's very accurate and just very nice. Really dig it. I don't know why, I just really love the Black Series droids. I mean, I own more Black Series droids than anything else from Black Series. Most of the other Star Wars figures I have are SH Figuarts. But overall look on this guy is pretty nice. They, they pulled it off really well. And on articulation on this guy, he has a ball joint at the top of his head and at the neck, using both them. Still don't look down the greatest, but he'll look down some. Looks up pretty decent though, and his head will go all the way around, no problem. Now the shoulders have these softer material shoulder pads. Kind of got to work with those to get this arm up, but you can get it up about that high, which isn't great. It will go around no problem though, because that pad swivels with it. Now, I assume there would be an upper bicep swivel there, but there actually isn't. But it does swivel at the elbow. Then the elbow will get about 90. I like that hinge too, looks good for a droid. Then the wrists are pegged in and on a swivel and that wrist will hinge as well. At the midsection, he will crunch back pretty good. Forward, not really at all. And then he will rotate there and you can rock it some. I just like the look of that midsection, I don't know. It's got those pistons on the side and stuff. Then your legs will just kick forward just pretty much as far as you wanna take them. They will hinge out a little there. They'll go in pretty good as well. So those have two swivels actually, one on the outside, one on the inside. Then your knee, you can get right at about 90 on it. Not bad, it won't go forward too, but that just, I don't, it's a droid, but it looks painful. Then your ankles, they won't rotate, but the bottom of the leg will, so it, you can move your foot that way. You'd think it'd be like right here, but no, it's up here. Then they'll hinge forward a massive amount. <laughs> and they'll hinge back, also a massive amount. So pretty good articulation, especially on the bottom half. Top half leaves a little to be desired, but still not bad. 
But I'm gonna get this guy's gun in his hand now, pose him up so we can wrap this review up. So there they are posed up, Mando down, about to hit him with that flamethrower just like in that scene, or almost every scene to be honest with Mando, he had a thing for that flamethrower. But very cool addition. Again, I just love the droids from Black Series. If you run across it, I say grab it because who isn't a fan of the Mandalorian at this point? So I want all the figures from Mandalorian. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. I heard that. Don't talk about my flamethrower. I'll flamethrower you. Okay, jeez.